Hey ladies, it's Tiffany back again with another video. And I am back with, you gotta have a plan for your money or for his money. If you have a client that you met from PSO, webcam, escorting, or if you have a sugar daddy and he's giving you money every week, every two weeks, every month, um... For an example, say if he gives you $2,000 a month and, you know, you're working, you have your own money, you have your own savings. But, you know, this $2,000 is just extra on top of what you're already making and what you're already doing with your own self. How about let's not go to the Louis Vuitton and Gucci store with that $2,000 that your sugar daddy is giving you? How about let's let, let's go to the IRA and the 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 SEPA retirement account. Let's let's go to the savings account. Let's go to the investment account. Let's not go to Gucci and Louis and and Prada and Givenchy. Let's not go to those stores and spend that allowance that you got from your clients. Okay, <laughs> because some men they love investing into women. They love spending money on women. They love taking, being able to take care of a woman, and being able to have women in their circle that they can level up, and they feel like that boss man. But if he notices that he sent you about six thousand dollars within three months, like he sent you two thousand dollars a month, so you, in three months you would have six thousand dollars. And he noticed, like, okay, um, she ain't got her hair done. She ain't her house. She she says she still need money for rent. She says she still need money for her car. What is she doing with the money? Like, why? Why are you behind on like she's she's behind on rent? She's behind on a car note. You know, if, if a man gives you money and you don't have any plan for it, you don't have any budget, you don't have any business ideas, no business plans, no career plans, no type of investment plans, you're just blowing the money on BS. A man will eventually get tired of that, kick you to the curb, and when you actually need money, you're not going to be able to get it because you don't know what to do with the money when you do get it. I think Dave Ramsey said every dollar has to have a plan. There has to be a plan for every dollar. Every dollar has to have somewhere to go. You have to write it out. This dollar is going into savings. This dollar is going into investments. This dollar is going into crypto. This dollar is going into stocks. This dollar is going into this bank account. This dollar is going on this car. This dollar is going um, towards rent, food, light bill, groceries. Every dollar needs a plan. Every dollar needs to have there there has to be a plan for every dollar and men notice this men know who is financially literate and who is financially illiterate and who is just broke because of circumstances or who is broke because of their own um behavior do you have broke behavior you have to be investable if a man gives you money level your buy, buy some hair yes yeah, so you can get your your hair done your makeup and your nails okay cool but also invest in yourself invest in your business invest in your career what else do you want to do in life besides be a cam girl or, or a sugar baby what else you, you, you don't have anything else that's it just the cam girl no you're not you're not just a cam girl i know you're not there's something that you wanted to do. Go back to your childhood self. Go back to your childhood mind. Think of that thing that you wanted to be when you were a little girl or a little boy. Whether that be a lawyer, a doctor, astronaut, 
um, I don't know, um, to own a restaurant, to own a store? What is it? Because cam girl, it has to be more than a cam girl. It ha- you have to do more than that. There's nothing wrong with being a cam girl, but this industry is is kind of like the modeling industry where if you're over a certain age they kind of kick you out but then again no because it's different in the sex industry I, I i take that back you don't really get kicked out of the sex industry for being too old but you know you may not be able to do certain things that you used to do when you get a certain age and you may not feel like camming as much when you get a certain age so you gotta whenever you get this money you gotta save it up and invest it so that you know your guys will see okay okay with the money that i sent her she got a new microphone with the money that i sent her she got new lingerie she got a new backdrop she got a new wig a new lipstick she got a new um she paid somebody to do her little profile okay i see my money is going towards good use you know Men love to invest in you, but you have to be investable and you have to show them that you're going to do something with the money. You have to show them that you are financially literate and you are going to have a plan for the money and be productive with the money. You got to show them that you're going to be productive and have a plan for the money. If not, if they see that you're the type of chick that gets money and money just flows through your hand on dumb shit, you ain't, they're not going to give you no money because they know you're going to blow it. You might as well stay where you at because that's where you're going to be at. They're going to say you might as well stay where you at because when I give you this money, you still going to be where you at. Because he's he going to give you that $2,000 and then you're going to go spend it all on a bag like a dumbass. I, I don't know why people, I, don't, uh, I, I never get why people get a large sum of money. I'm not saying that 2000 is that large, like it's not that big, but it's, but it's decent enough to be, that, that's somebody's rent, okay? Don't play, don't try to act, don't, don't try to play, Okay? If someone gives you 2K and it is it flows through your hand on BS, on everything except for your rent, like this girl, <laughs> it's this video of this guy. He said that he gave this girl $2,000 a month and he cut her off because she kept every month she kept saying she was broke and she need rent money she need gas money she need light bill money she need phone bill money and he's like well i'm giving you two thousand dollars a month and i thought that you had your own job too i thought i was giving you two thousand on top of whatever you getting why are you like what are you doing with the money why are you always broke what's going on and eventually he cut her off because he just felt like he he was just giving her he just felt like he was throwing money away on her because she wasn't doing anything productive with the money so don't be that girl where guys look at you and be like throwing money at her it's like throwing money in the trash can because she ain't doing nothing with the money and that's how they will look at you so make sure when you get your money every dollar needs to have some where to go you have to plan you have to have a plan for every dollar that comes in your bank account every dollar in your bank account has to have a plan on what it's going to do and where it's going to go